In this Bonsai 3D tutorial, we will explore the last row of operations in the Manage Suite. These five tools are Separate, Group, Ungroup, Extract from Group, and Add to Group. First, the Separate tool and when it's useful. There may be times in Bonsai 3D when you're working with objects consisting of more than one volume. These may result from objects you've imported from other applications or from operations performed in Bonsai 3D. An example of such a Bonsai 3D object would be a stair with tiles. Each of the tiles is a separate volume, but they are all a single object. You can confirm this by picking the stair. The tiles are also picked. To separate the tiles and the stair into separate objects, activate the Separate tool and click on the stair. The result is produced immediately, but is not really visible. To verify that the volumes have now become separate objects, look in the Objects palette. What used to be a single object is now seven objects. You can also verify this by picking. Each tile now picks separately. When it's useful to keep volumes together, they can be grouped. Grouping achieves this without actually making a single object out of the many, but rather by generating links that establish a grouping relationship. The remainder of this tutorial covers the tools that relate to grouping. Here we have a cube and a sphere. We can group them using either the pre-pick or post-pick method. In this example, let's use the latter method. From the objects palette, note that we have exactly two separate objects in our project that we've named cube and sphere. With the group tool active, we click on the cube, then the sphere. The group is constructed immediately. After grouping, members of the group look the same as they did when they were independent objects. However, they now pick as a group and certain operations can be applied to them, such as moving. In addition, check out how the objects are now structured in the objects palette. A group can have any number of objects as members and also other groups. For the next example, we shall group groups. From previously, we already have group 1. With the group tool, click on the cone in the cylinder, which results in group 2. Next, with the group tool, click on the torus, then the soccer ball, to produce group 3. We now have three groups. Here we shift click all three groups, then any blank area in the project window. Group 4, the new group, now contains the first three groups. The ungroup tool is used to dismantle groups, and there are two ways of doing this shown in the tool options palette. With the default dismantle one level option selected, we click on our group. Group 4, which is the highest level, has been dismantled while groups 1 through 3 remain intact. Next, undo and repeat the operation, but with the Dismantle All Levels option selected this time. Observe that all four groups have been dismantled, and we have returned to the original objects. The Extract from Group tool is next. Undo again so that we have groups 1 through 4. With the Extract tool active, click on any object, and it's removed from the group. Here, we remove the cube. Sometimes we extract an object from a group so that we may edit it. For example, we edit a hole to our cube. After this is done, let's say we want to reinsert the revised object to its original group. If there's only one level of grouping, we can do this with the Add to Group tool. Here, of course, we have two levels of grouping. Let's execute Add to Group to see what happens. With the Add to Group tool, click on the cube, then any other object member of the group. The cube now becomes a member of the higher level grouping as seen in the palette. But how can we reinsert the cube to its original group? We will mention two methods. The first would be to dismantle the top level grouping, which will expose group 1, the original group of the cube, add the cube to that group, and then regroup groups 1, 2, and 3. Without question, this method appears tedious, especially if we have additional levels of grouping. 
Here's a simpler method. In the Objects palette, grab the cube and drag it onto Group 1. This completes our task. It also demonstrates how groups can be manipulated from the palette. Finally, we can create a whole new group, which is Group 5, by clicking on the plus sign at the top of the Objects palette. Now take Group 1 and drag it onto Group 5. Observe the palette. This concludes this Bonsai 3D tutorial.